Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how to install and download fonts for GIMP. So the first thing we want to do is actually uh, download some fonts that we want. I am using defont.com. I will leave this link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Of course, you don't have to use this website. You can use whatever website you want to gather your fonts. Uh, but this one I find has some good quality fonts that I like. There are a ton of different categories up here that you can choose from to find fonts to your liking. So once you find a font that you like, all you need to do is click download and it will automatically download the font. I'm just going to download a few and then I will show you how to place it into the font folder. All right, so now that I have a few fonts downloaded, all I'm gonna do is go to my file explorer, go to this PC, local disk C, users, click on your name, GIMP 2.8, and then fonts. So this is the folder that you are going to put all of your fonts into. So I'm just putting this folder on one side to make it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna right click on our file explorer and then click on downloads. And then I'll put our downloads on the other side. So now all we need to do is open up each folder. And then this is the font file. And we are just going to drag that over to our fonts. So that's the first one done. Now we'll do this one. Just drag and drop the files over. Some of them will have two, one for capital letters and one for lowercase, and then you can just drag them both over. Or they'll have uh, different variations of the same font. As you can see, that one has bold, italic, and regular. All right, so now that I have all of my fonts put into my folder, I'm just gonna close out of here and then open up GIMP. All right, I'm just going to make a new project, add a text box, I selected one of our newly installed fonts and I'll just go over here and type hello. And as you can see, it's working. I can also highlight it and change it to a different font that we installed. There's another one and another one. So as you can see, the fonts are working properly. I hope this video helped you guys. If you're having any troubles or have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.